Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. And today I'm coming to you with part two of Let's Get Ready for Halloween's Giving. Now, if you haven't seen part one, you can go back and take a look. Um, in that, I'll go over real quickly that we discussed Halloween's Giving and what our steps were gonna be. And for my steps, right, we had the research. Sorry, my shirt's whoppy jawed. The research. So Pinterest videos, shopping, online, just finding ideas. Number two was creating my vision and I did mine on a Pinterest board um, and notebook and with screenshotted pictures. Um, the plan was choosing a direction, color schemes, um, things of that nature. Now, this is where we come into video number two, the organization. My, my neighbor just let his dog out. Um, organization. So what I've done, and I'll show you some video, and if you saw my vlog on Monday, you've seen this stuff, but I pulled all of my fall items, Wellington, all of my fall items out of my garage. I went through, I sorted, I purged, and I got myself ready. So I did, I'm looking at my notebook, guys, here. So we've done the purge. I saw what I had, and I have a lot of pumpkins. Now, there's one tote that I have not gone through, and that is in my closet behind me, and that's mostly crafty decor, but I am going to get that out next and kind of go through that when I start getting ready to do some DIYs. So, during the purge, this is what I did. Hi. Excuse me, sir. Um... I went through all my all my decor, like I just said. I brought it in, I put it on the table, pulled it all out. Um, I do have a lot of pumpkins. Um, I have a lot of greenery in the garage. I didn't bring that in, but it's all in a bucket. I have some table runners and some linens that may or may not go with my decor, but I didn't want to get rid of. And I found a lot of glass vases and vessels that I can decorate with. I also found my garland that I made for my mantle last year, but this year it's going on my front porch, I've decided. Now my front porch is covered. I built this garland on Christmas lights, so they're indoor outdoor, so everything will be safe. I don't know what that is going on, but I'll fix it. Yeah, so I've done those steps, that organization. I came up with my color scheme, and for me, my color scheme, I'm thinking, sir, I'm talking. I'm going to go with um, some really earthy tones, some burnt orange. I want some of this really deep green. I may or may not stick with my buffalo check, possibly. And then copper and dark bronze and metals along with wood. So I'm going very earthy. That was my plan. Um, I will also add in some video to this where I spray painted a tray that I found at a thrift store. It was like $4.99 and I spray painted it copper. So for 10 bucks, I have this tray. Excuse me. I'm going to need you to get down, sir. Thanks. <laughs> I spray painted this tray. I think it was actually wall decor if I'm being honest because there is a hook on the back, but it doesn't matter. It's going to become a vessel to sit on my dining room table that I'm going to build um, a centerpiece. Now I haven't decided if I'm going to put a second tier on it to do like a tier tray or I might just do candlesticks. We'll see. So that is for my dining room table. I also thrifted a cream colored tablecloth that's like uh, pretty rustic looking. So I have the tablecloth and I have this copper vessel and then I found all of my pumpkins and so I'm gonna build this centerpiece. So I have that done. Um, and then I started thinking, you know, what, what do I wanna do? What do I wanna create? What colors do I want? What do I need to purchase? So I started a list. I'm just a post-it for now because I'm not quite sure if I'm done yet. Because for the living room, I know what colors I want. The dining room, I've kind of have colors set up for that as well. But I definitely want a throw blanket for the back of my couch. As I don't have 
you don't have a fall one, I'm thinking I would really love a burnt orange or like a really rusty orange throw blanket for the back of my sofa. Um, I would like some pillow covers and I think I'm going to go to Ikea and see if they have them um, uh, in like a dark green. Then that will actually complement the gold ones I already have on my sofa. Um, but that's what I do. I just change out. I have the same pillow forms and I just change out the covers because it's easier to store than seasons worth of pillows. So that's what I do. Um, I know on my front porch, I want two big old mums and I want some white and orange pumpkins out front. So I definitely have that on my list. Um, I want an entryway rug. Now I haven't decided if I'm just gonna, I need a new rug, I don't have one right now. I tossed the old one um, when I was watching Ellie, she had an accident on the rug and it was old. So I was like, just throw it away and go buy a new one. So I haven't decided if I'm gonna do a seasonal one year then or there yet. And then I need to do some DIYing for this channel and for my house. Um, my next step for me is my mantle. So I love decorating my mantle. So I need to come up with some ideas and what I can do at the back side of this video, I will do some screenshots of, um, some mantles that I found on Pinterest that I like, and I can talk us through, you know, what aspects of them that I do like, and then I will try to maybe recreate. And these are just ideas. It may or may not come to fruition. It just kind of depends, you know, on, well, are we going to be able to get out of our house? Can I go shopping? Can I do the things? Or am I, should I just recycle what I have? I have not created my budget yet because I'm still in that kind of idea phase of, what I want this to look like. And I definitely have been hitting the Dollar Tree. Now my Dollar Tree has not got in its fall stuff yet. But watching other folks, I have found uh, somebody had a sign, a wooden, it's not, it's that, I don't know what the wood is called, MDF board or something that they cut out the word gather. I really would love to have that and paint it copper to go on my mantle to kind of pull that metal into my dining room or my living room colors from the dining room. Um, I do have several very tall candlesticks, uh, three to be exact. So I haven't quite decided how I'm going to go with the, um, with my mantle yet. I don't think I'm going to use lights this year. I do have lights in my bay window, so I'm probably not going to light up my mantle, but we'll see. And then garlands and things like that. So that's kind of still where I'm at. I'm still in this I'm in the planning list making phase because I've already did my inventory. Now, um, in my closet, like I said, I have a Rubbermaid tote full of fall, Halloween, Thanksgiving, DIY crafty bits that I need to pull out. So the next step for me is pull this out for the DIY portion, pull out the tote, set it up here on my table, my craft space, go through it, figure out what I have, what I need, so again, I'm not double purchasing and shopping willy nilly. You know, I've got an idea. Yes, it's July. Well, it's gonna be the beginning of August. I start decorating in just a couple weeks. So this is stuff that I need to get ready. So what I'm gonna do is I will put in some video, I'll fast forward it, of me purging. And then I will pop in some screenshots of some mantles that I really liked off of Pinterest and kind of we'll walk through it and I will talk you through what it is I like, what maybe I don't like, what I might like to change, and maybe some things that we can DIY, but well, let's see what it gets us. So I'll be right back. On this mantle here, I'm really loving the height on either side, the more earthy feel of the browns and cream color. Now, I could totally make these, but I would make those candlesticks copper 
and then do my beads and make my own little pumpkins or get some Dollar Tree ones. On this one, I love the height again on either side, but I also love how in all these mantles, it's even on both sides. I'm very symmetrical in my designing. Um, obviously, the fall colors are just killing me here. You know, I'm going to incorporate a lot of this, but look at these colors and all the leaves at the bottom. I really like it. This one, I love like it's kind of busy with the buffalo check. I'm not sure if I'm doing that in my living room, but look at around the mantle. I love that too, down on the hearth. Here, I'm totally looking at the hearth at the bottom and that little um, vessel putting a bunch of cotton in it. Something tall I need to find for the floor. And then here, I just like, again, this earthy feel. So I think we've agreed I'm going with earthy. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs>